our joint stock company for the production of pharmaceuticals, in Nizhny Novgorod has been manufacturing pharmaceuticals for 20 years. We successfully supply our products to the CIS countries. I work at the company as a chief engineer for 10 years. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP to manufacture our products. There are two main needs for pelletizing, where pellets are the final product, or pelletizing improves the flowability of the powder in the manufacturing process. To us, pelletizing was the end product for the production of cold medicine. The choice of a peltizer was entrusted to me. I wanted to complete the task as quickly as possible so that I could work on another problem that unexpectedly arose in the pill powder production area. A breakdown of this equipment meant a work stoppage in the entire site, which I could not allow to happen. So I started looking for a peltizer, and I thought I would find the necessary equipment right away. First I compared peltizer manufacturers in Europe and China. I conducted my search via the internet. I chose by location, delivery time, and price category. Among the quality manufacturers in Europe, I found three companies that offered good machines, but asked for a very high price, which did not include the customs clearance procedure. I understood that the management would not approve the chosen peltizer, and would send me to search again, because of the high cost. Then I looked for equipment from Chinese manufacturers. There were more options here. I sent emails to them indicating, which machine I was considering as an option to four equipment companies in China. However, only two responded to me. One company indicated that such equipment would not be produced for five months, and the other sent a response in Chinese. The period of five months did not satisfy me. It was too long, and none of our people speak Chinese. I didn't want to spend time and money on an interpreter. So it was decided not to buy a car from a Chinese manufacturer. I realized that I could not solve the problem of purchasing a peltizer on my own, so I decided to turn to a specialist intermediary. I had an idea what kind of machine I needed, so I only paid attention to the reliability of the company. On the internet I chose several intermediaries, one from China, two managers from Russia. I made my choice by looking at the company's websites. Of great importance in choosing a specialist was the length of time, they had been working in the market for the supply of pharmaceutical equipment, positive customer feedback, and the relevance of the prices. First I called a Chinese mediator. His price for the machine was lower than the others. I received a response from the manager, who specified that the price did not include customs clearance, delivery and installation of equipment. The total amount for the machine was much more than presented on the site. I was not satisfied. Then I studied the website of a Russian company from Krasnoyarsk more closely. I looked at the prices and the terms of delivery, but I was alerted to the fact that this company also supplies shoes and tableware from China. I checked the website of the company. I liked it, modern, structured, lots of videos. I phoned the manager and received a good consultation on the classifications and types of granulators. The specialist selected the equipment for pelletizing powder according to the desired requirements and sent me a detailed instruction manual by email where I could study the capabilities and characteristics of the machine. I liked his business-like and professional approach. I was satisfied with the delivery conditions and price, and a week later we made a contract for the delivery of the selected machine. The machine was delivered within a month after the contract was signed, and we were able to quickly set up and start producing the drug for treating colds. Control of the pelletizing process is simple with demonstration of the equipment performance on the display. Raw materials for pelletizing are loaded through a hopper. A metal chute was provided for unloading the finished product. The equipment was made of quality stainless steel. We got the powder with spherical granules. We are satisfied with the granulating equipment proposed by the specialist in Moscow. I would like to mention that I told the manager about a problem with a machine breakdown on a related site. He recommended me a good specialist in the adjustment and repair of the equipment, with whom we are already working, and we are satisfied with the result. I realized that I made the right choice of manager to supply the equipment. Real professionals pay attention to detail, and I was lucky to find such a person when choosing equipment.